Buenos dias, niños y niños, niñas. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. How you doing? This is Teacher Zola, and I'm wishing you a happy day, no matter what time it is, or happy evening, whatever, no matter what time it is, so that think happy, keep a happy thought throughout the day, and gather some more as you go about your way. Well, today, Teacher Zola teaching te teaching Tai Chi for children ages 3 to 10 but if you're older or younger and you think you can join in come on and play with us all right now for those of you who have sometimes issues and sometimes you can be five six seven eight nine ten and they have a little balance issue or maybe your mommy or daddy or brother or sister have some balance issues. If they're working with the cane, walking with the cane, maybe you can show them how they can put the cane on the side and then they can do storks then. Come up and down. Come up and down. Okay, change over to the other foot. Come up, doesn't have to be high. But it's important to exercise your muscles each and every day. You've got to exercise your muscles, right? So again, put the cane there. Tell mommy, daddy, put your cane. Hold on. And then come up and down. Come up and down. And if they're on a walk, there's an exercise called walking meditation. Walking meditation. That's like thinking, because a lot of people think meditation is just sitting down and just meditating like this. Well, there's another kind of meditation called walking meditation. And the idea is to focus where you are to think about where you are right this moment. Not yesterday, not in the future, but where you are right now. See, right now. So when you're walking with walking meditation, and remember we talked about breathing. Breathing is so important. Breathing is good for your muscles and your heart and your brain because you need air, you need oxygen in your body so that it works well, okay? You will be doing the some of the eight brocades in a minute, but right now I want to show you walking meditation. And the thing is that the person who is the last one is the winner. So maybe you can walk slower than your mommy and daddy. How about that? So what you can do, you can put your hands behind you, or you can put them on the side, or you can put them down, whatever is comfortable for you, okay? I'm gonna put mine behind me. I'm going to shift my weight, put my weight on my right foot, remember? This is your right, this is your left, this is your right, this is your left, right, left. But when I turn around, for me, this is my right, your right is on that side, this is my left, your left is on that side. So, here we go. We're going to do walking meditation. What we do is we breathe in, breathe in. Stepping out with the left foot, heel to toe, breathe out. And breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And you want to walk like a ninja, okay? So I'm going to come towards you, okay? Walking meditation. What's it called? Walking meditation. Okay. All right. Starting off with our left. 
This one, okay. Stepping out, heel to toe. Breathing out. That's right. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now I'm going to walk away from you. My back to you. We're going to do the same thing. Can you do it? Follow me. Follow me. You'll be the winner because you'll be behind me. Right? All right. So, starting out with the left. You breathe in as you bring up your foot. As you place your heel down, you go forward, breathing out. Then you bring back up your right foot, step out, put it down, breathing out. Let's do a couple. I'm not going to talk. You just practice your breathing. Breathing in. Breathing out. How'd you do? I bet you won. Did you win Asia? Did you win one Brooklyn? Did you win London? Because you were behind me. So you won. And Tasha, I know it's hard for you to get up out of that bed, but you've been doing so well. You've been getting so strong. So even with your walker, when you've got your walker and you're doing your morning or evening exercises. You're on your walker. Get your balance. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And see, Teacher Odie, he had a hip replacement. And he practiced with his walker, walking meditation. And you know, he got so good that the physical therapist, he said, get out of here, get out of here. You're doing better than me. And so if you practice, what's it? You work every day, in every way, every day, in every way, you're always getting better. That is if you try. If you don't try, you can't get better, right? Okay. Let's do some of the eight brocades. The eight brocades is a Qigong exercise, right? You remember it? You remember? Okay. So let's do lifting the sky, breathing in, turn, breathing out. Breathing in, turn, hold your breath, breathing out. Now turn around, so you see, breathing in, breathing out. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out. Now while we're here, let's do Archer Pool's Bow. Yes, that's the one I'm glad you remember. Archer Pool's Bow to the left. Archer Pool's Bow to the right. Archer pulls bow to the left. And then 
arch the pulls bow to the right. Remember, we take a deep breath. We hold our breath till we get to the end. And when we just get to the end, we open this arm up and turn the head as you breathe out. Turn your head as, and, and breathe out through your mouth. So again, breathing in through your nose. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Now, let's see, what are we going to do now? Oh, separating heaven and earth. You ever think you could do that? Yeah, you can separate heaven and earth in an exercise. So, got this ball of energy. Got your ball. Okay, left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Oh, press. And breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, Ooh. okay, separating heaven and earth, breathing in, breathing out, Ooh. again, Separating heaven and earth. Breathing in. Ooh. Breathing out. Now from this position, I'm going to sing. While you're looking at me, I'm going to do owl looks over his shoulder. But I'm not an owl. I'm just teacher over his okay? So just like pretending to be an owl. So, how looks over his shoulder. You turn your hips, you turn your, your waist, you turn your neck. But do it gently, no hard, no hard. Breathing in and breathing out. Come on, we're going to breathe in one more time. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time, breathing in. Breathing out. Okay. Now we're going to jump all the way down to the one uh, shaking a thousand illnesses from the body. Okay, this is the one. Everybody should practice every day because it helps build up your immune system. And what does the immune system do? Do you know? It fights off all the bad germs and everything. Just fights them, fits them all the time. So that's what the immune system does. So you got to breathe in and get all that oxygen, and you got to exercise, and you got to do shaking illness from the body so that you can make sure that your body gets healthy and stays healthy. All right? So this is what we do. I pull up my pants be nice and neat. Don't want the pants down too far right here. All right. So, here we go. Remember your arms come up and you up on your toes, down on your heels, up on your toes, down on your heels. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uno, dos, uno, dos. Uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay? So you did it ten times. So try to do it at least ten times. Now, remember your homework from yesterday. Your homework from yesterday was trying to practice your balance. So remember you standing on one foot. Say on your, this is my right, on your right foot. And you then pretend you got the table. Come up and down. Come up and down. On, this is the start stand. Come up and down. Come up and down. 
and we are going to do the store staff, and also we are going to do wave hands as homework. So did you get your ball? And you shift your weight to the left. Boom. Shift your weight to the right. Boom. Shift your weight to the left. trying to kick you, you have to turn your waist and you're keeping them from kicking or hurting you or trying to do mischief when they should. This is wave hands. And we're going to do wave hands to the left. So got your ball, shifting. Shifting, right hand on top, stepping out left, bringing the right foot. Stepping out left, bringing the right foot. Stepping out left, bringing the right foot. Stepping out right, bringing the left foot. Stepping out right. Bring in the left foot and stepping out right. You got it. You got it. All right. Now that you got that, let's do the form. What the added movements. Remember, don't forget ward off. That's like if somebody comes up to you and you hold them from coming close to you. Ward off. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So let's start all over from the very beginning. Feet together, head up, shoulders down. Nice, relax, 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 relax. Okay, open up, shift your weight to your right, stepping out left. Arms come up, shoulder roll, bend your knees as your arms come down. Shifting your weight to the right, opening up the left toe. Grab the top of the ball, bottom of the ball, bring it in. Stepping out, left. Left hand up, right hand down. Party, wild horses may. I hear a plane. You hear the plane? Stepping out, more and off. 
grasping in her tail, and we bring it down in a circle, we press, we squeeze, we push up, and I single it now. Shift back, just in the right foot. Left shoulder back, right shoulder back. Pull out, bring the foot in. Step out. Wave hand. Left hand goes down. Right hand blocks. Bring in the right foot. Step in out left. Left hand on top. Right hand on the bottom. Bring in the right foot. Stepping out left. Bring in the right foot. Then left shoulder back, right shoulder back. Pull it out. Step out. And then the next move is an empty step. And it's a high pat on horse. High pat on horse. High pat on horse. And we're going to sweep. We're going to sweep. Lift up the foot. So high pat on horse and lift up the foot. So we have gotten two new moves from single whip, from wave hands, from high pat on horse, and lift up the foot to avoid the switch. It's been a very good session, I think. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you will practice your exercises, that you will practice wave hands. I hope that you will practice your balance. Remember, practice your balance. And when you get good, you can bring up your foot and you move your ankle around. Or you can stand on the other side, lift up your foot and move your ankle around. I almost forgot to mention what, what, what? Oh, you got it. You got it. Maria. Very smart. And Malina, you said it too. And Ava, oh yeah, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. The World Tai Chi and Qi Gong Day. World Tai Chi and Qi Gong Day. April 25th, Dr. Daniel Hoover of Soma, the School of Healing Martial Arts, will provide us some information which we will be sure to give to you so you can celebrate on that day. In the meantime, if you got some aches and pains and you live in the Long Beach area, you should check out SOMA, the School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach. And it's on Viking Way. And if you live far away in LA, there's another lady I know named Jewel Bias Williams. And she's at the Village Foundation on Pico off of Grinshaw. And she offers, his, offers similar services to Dr. Hoover as far as acupuncture and what have you. But I need to send out a shout out to Jewel and her organization because they've helped so many people over the past 40 years. And finally, of course, I got to say to Master Tom Tran, thank you so much for the years of teaching, for trying to help me be a better student and a better teacher. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And I'm working on my balance. I am. I'm working on my balance, just like you told me to. And I'm working on RuPaul's monkey so that I don't have any arrows, any elbows, any elbows, not pulling back. So I hope you're pleased. I'll be giving you a call uh, tomorrow to see how you're doing and be. Wishing you all well. Have lots of fun. I've got to go. You know I've got to go because it's time to eat. I haven't had lunch yet. And looking forward to it because Odie, Teacher Odie's fixing me something really, 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 really good to do. It's nice having a friend.
husband that knows how to cook. And if you can, while you're at home, maybe your mommy or daddy or brother or sister will show you how to cook. Because again, every day in every way, you are always getting better. Bye now.